Well, they're a high energy majorette team combining hip hop, jazz, African, contemporary, and cheer styles to create a melting pot of excitement. Heat Dance Line are the only majorette dancers in the Bay Area, and uh, they're right here from Oakland, too. We're now joined by Kali Woods, who is the director of Heat Dance Line. Good morning, hello, T. Kali. Hello, so thank you. This is awesome. Well, first of all, I heard that you guys just performed for the mayor. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah, we performed yesterday at Mayor Breed's, um, yeah. London Breed's um, Black History Month yeah. um, gala. It was amazing just to see all of the wonderful, wonderful um, performers and to see the black excellence in the room was yeah. um, phenomenal. It's just amazing. My, my cousin went to FAM over ah, there. She was a major at yes. that. Yeah, so, you know, so I know all about this because yeah. she would come in the house twirling her time. <laughs> all the time almost hit me in the head. All right, so, so tell us, how did you get involved with, uh, with this organization? So I am the owner and founder of Heat Dance Line, mm -hmm. but I got involved. I'm actually originally from the Bay Area, mm -hmm. but I went to Spelman College yeah. in um, Atlanta and I was a part of Mahogany Emotion, which is Morehouse College Dance Team. Yeah. Um, and I fell in love with the, not only the dance style, but the community and the love and the culture. Um, and so when I came back here, um, I realized there's really not a lot of exposure to HBCU culture. And yeah. so that's why Heat is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised when I learned that this was the only one in the area, because back on the East Coast, we hear about them quite a bit. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, we're not exposed to yeah. HBCU culture. There there are no HBCUs on the West Coast, um, and so, um, so yeah, we are one of few um, on the West Coast. So, would you say that was one of the key reasons you said, "Hey, I got to, I got to start something like this here"? Yes, yes, because you know, I, like I said, when I was a, a kid, we didn't have that, yeah. um, and now we have all of these beautiful yeah. dancers, and they're going off to all these different places. So, I have dancers now at Spelman, I have dancers at Howard, I have dancers at Xavier. Um, and then dancers at UCLA, but they're they're exposed to not only college um, through dance, um, um, but just being able to know that there's other um, culture, yeah. black culture. You know, yeah. I wanted to ask a little bit about that. Uh, you know, the fact that you don't have a lot of that, what does mm -hmm. being a majorette speak to, you know, we're in Black History Month now, about uh, black culture and being part of something like this. Oh my gosh. So, you know, HEAT um, stands for Health, Education, Art, and Therapy. And that's really what I learned by being mm -hmm. at an HBCU and being a part of the band, um, really trying to help navigate, you know, their health, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. Trying to navigate, you know, being artistic and creative. Um, also trying to navigate, like, having a healthy lifestyle, the mm -hmm. therapy part of it. And I got that from being at Spelman and from being in the band. And so because we don't have this normally here uh, on the West Coast, uh, you're teaching these young ladies are from high school, different mm -hmm. grade levels. Talk mm -hmm. about the, 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 the ladies who perform in that. Oh, so yeah, so the um, all of these girls are from different high schools. So yeah. we have San Leandro High, yeah. we have Castro Valley High, we have Bishop O'Dowd, we have Skyline, and we have um, Oakland Tech represented. And some of them are going off to college. Three of them are going off oh, to college. and they're applying to different schools yeah. and they're there um, and then the rest are, are ready to go as well so yeah what are you hoping for the, for this organization going forward here in the Bay Area oh um, so my dream is to have a band yeah. so my dream is to have an Oakland or a Bay Area uh, youth band um, we were able to um, perform with Pittsburgh High School last uh, right. last night um, and they were amazing and but we don't have that out here we don't right. have bands so uh, a band that the dancers can perform with and really um, understand what this culture is about. Can different organizations uh, contact you and have your performers there? Yes, oh. yes, yes. Please contact us yeah. um, at heatdanceline at gmail.com. Right. Um, or we are um, at um, heatdanceline.org. Yeah. Um, we're nonprofits. So. All right. So we, we want to get to some yes. of your performers here. Yes. Step out of the way here because I want to see what you guys uh, what you guys have in store for us and what you, Mayor London Bree got a chance to see yesterday. So take it away. Let's go.